So like I had said, imagine that your client is depositing a whole lot of checks. So more than one sale and um, we are receiving money. Uh, in that fashion where he's going to deposit these checks. This happens a lot with big, big companies that receive money for invoices. So in this example, let's go back to our QuickBooks and let's go to deposit. So let's go to plus new bank deposit. And imagine that the undeposited funds is like that little blue envelope. Well, in that little blue envelope, we're gonna deposit all of that to a particular checking account. So we need to make sure that we're choosing the correct checking account or savings account that that money is gonna go into. And a lot of times um, I won't make the bank deposit slip or I'm sorry, I, I won't make this bank deposit transaction until my client brings me back or emails me the bank deposit slip or um, little form that they get back showing what was deposited. So that way I get proof and I can add that as well. Again, it's all about organization and it's all about keeping track of all the money going in and out. So it's just the extra layer of proof. It keeps us from really screwing up their books. So let's just say they went today. Great. Everything's getting taken care of. Sorry, my computer just scrolls really fast without me. So here's that check that we just worked on, but maybe in that blue envelope, there were two other checks, so more than one payment. So that means that my client had deposited more than just a 604.20. He deposited a total of 2,066.6, what a number, 0.72. And if they had any extra cash or any other things to add to the fund, they can, do so and then uh, we would maybe record that here. It doesn't happen all the time, but if it does, make sure that you guys are recording it. And if the client decides to take cash back, um, if their client is going cash back into um, not retained earnings, but maybe cash back in the amount that goes back to, uh, and maybe it doesn't go back to them, it goes back to, let me see, where did they have it here? So weird. Um, equity is where I was gonna put it. Oh, it's because we don't have maybe an owner's equity in this, uh, in this account set up yet. But if say the client, um, and maybe I'll just add it here then, uh, the client is, going to keep the money in his pocket, <laughs> meaning like it's just a payout. Maybe he's going to take his daughter on her birthday dinner that night. And you know, some owners do that. That is okay. We just need to know how to categorize that for this example. Sorry. Come on. Sorry. My computer's just not letting me do anything. Okay. There we go. I'm going to click on at equity owners equity. I'm going to put owners uh owners draw cool and then I, I normally would put this under owners equity come on Okay, it's not gonna let me. I don't know, it's being weird, but I normally would do that. And then save close. So I had to put that in there because it wasn't in there, but you might already have this in your client's books, but I put it to owner's draw, maybe in the amount of $1,000. They're gonna take their kid and their family out to dinner. Cool with me and um, you can put that memo there. It really doesn't matter because if it goes into owner's draw, we don't need to know what it's for. It It's like owner's pay, right? If that's what they're doing. So we can go ahead and save and close. I hope that makes sense. And that's sort of the workflow that you want to follow when doing invoices. That way we don't leave any invoices unaccounted for and we're able to close out any estimates and invoices as needed. If for whatever reason, 
your client is really behind on closing out invoices or there's duplicate transactions where they received money a different way, like maybe through the bank feed and they didn't close out an invoice, then that's where you're going to find some big problems. So let's look into that step next. So we're going to kind of rewind and we're going to do the, the same step um, and say that we've already created the invoices and the estimates that's already done, but uh, we want to use say the banking feed instead when, um, when we see an electronic deposit made. So let's go back and see what that's going to look like. 